just watched Matt Diavella's video where he counted everything he owned. And while I do consider myself a minimalist, I thought it would be more fun to see how many things my cat Marvel owns. We've had her for about six months and she's accumulated a lot of things in that time. I'll take you around with me around the house while we count everything that is hers. We have a few locations that her things can be. And one of the main places is in the pantry. We like to rotate her toys, so we keep a lot of her old toys that are out of rotation in here. We also have her overflow food and treats and some of the replacement parts to some equipment. The last place we keep her things is in these two bins on the bookshelf and in this garbage bin that we stuck to the side of the bookshelf for all of her stick toys. I went around the rest of the house and found all of the bigger objects that she has furniture and some collapsible toy tunnel type things. After that, I got all the bins and counted each individual item and recorded it onto a spreadsheet. You wanna help? During this whole process, Marvel was very involved because she could hear all of her toys jingling. Since her things are only in a few different places, it was pretty easy and quick to go through. I found most of the difficulty in categorizing her things if they were toys or if they were food related, if it was like a food toy puzzle. A scratching post could be a toy or it could be a piece of furniture. So I just kind of used my own discretion in determining what counts as what. We went around the house and counted everything that counts as Marvel's things. I was a little surprised by some of the numbers, so I thought I'd share them with Garrett and see if he's surprised by them too. So I went through and categorized all the things by food, litter, toys, and then kind of subcategorized the toys. Different furniture she has, her carrier, transportation related things, grooming things, and any other kind of random stuff. So how many things total do you think she has Ooh. without consumables? without consumables. I'm going to say like ballpark 75 items. Okay. So it is 98 things. Okay. But like a lot of her toys are really small. Yeah. So they don't take up as much And sometimes space. it kind of feels like the toys are consumables because she ends up tearing through them and we have to buy new ones anyway. True. Her biggest category is the food and the toys, which mm -hmm. is kind of expected. Um, how many non-consumable food items do you think she has? Five or six. Okay. She has seven things. Okay. There, because we have a bunch of food bowls, water bowls, an automatic water fountain. And then we have a few things for her litter, which I think is easy to guess, so we won't do that one. How many mm -hmm. toys do you think she has? Oh gosh, she has so Just many. Just the soft, squishy ones. Twenty. Seventeen. <sighs> okay. Good. Doing good. Doing good. Yeah, these are ones that she tears through often, so we have to buy new ones. And she really likes, like, small ones. I'll grab them. She really likes small little ones like this that she can pat around and they move really easily on the hardwood floors. Also, she needs to be able to carry it in her mouth, otherwise she doesn't like it as much. And they also disappear. And we have about eight springs that are around the house right now, because Marvel doesn't go outside, so they have to be in the house, and we can't find them. There's got to be some magic hole that she throws them in. How many automatic toys do you think she has? I think four. Yeah. Wow, I know our daughter so well. <laughs> we also do uh, food puzzles for her. How many food puzzle toys does she have? I think four as well. Yeah. Four. And we got four grooming things. How many furniture pieces does she have around the house? I think this is something we've gotten a little carried away with. Does that include like every scratcher? Yeah. So we have Ooh. a couple big furniture pieces and then we've gotten a lot of little scratchers because we heard like every time a cat scratches human furniture, we try and put a cat scratcher near it so that she scratches that instead, instead of punishing her, we try and give her something because cats naturally scratch. I'm going to say somewhere around 10. We have 12. Oh, that's still a lot. Yeah, 12 pieces of furniture around the house. And she has her two carriers plus a vest and a leash. And then the few of the other things I wasn't sure how to categorize. She has a collar. She has a clicker that we use for clicker training. And then there's this thing 
that you can put on the corner of a wall so that she can scratch her own face, which she really loves. So how do you feel about all the things we've bought for her in the six months? I guess when you put it in that short of a time frame, it feels like a lot, but considering how small a lot of her items are, like most of her toys kind of all fit in a bin and that's like what a third of her items. We're both pretty minimalist, so it's kind of hard for us to be like, we own a hundred things just for a cat. Anything else? Nope. Could you? How do you close out? Remember to like and subscribe. Let us know what else you'd like to know about Marvel.